today I'm taking you with as I head into Aldi. So I have my list all ready to go. These are gorgeous. Still not thrilled at the price on eggs. Time to go check out, find out what the damage is. When we get home, I'll share with you guys the whole haul, including the price for every item I bought today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Lauren. Today I'm taking you with as I head into Aldi. We are on a tight budget. I feel like I way overspent last month on groceries. We are getting back to it and I'm going to see if I can stick to a $150 budget for the next two weeks. I have all my meals planned out. I'm gonna share with you guys my meal plan and my little Aldi shopping trip. Let's see what I can find to feed my family of four. Some great healthy meals, but sticking to a budget this month. So I have my list all ready to go. I also got really lucky because I forgot my quarter, but someone gave me a cart. Starting off with some fresh fruit and veggies. Apples are great, especially when you're doing a two week shop like I'm doing today because I know that these will still be good and easy to eat next week. And a three pound bag for $2.99. Not too much selection on strawberries, but that is a really good price. Am I the only one who feels like these have no flavor at all? I was not a fan, especially when they cost $5. Lots of salads on the list for this week. Before coming today, I also went through my entire freezer, fridge, and pantry, took a look at what I had and what I could build off of for my meal plan, starting from what I already had at home. So I have a ton of frozen fruit in my freezer. I'm gonna go ahead and get some spinach because then I can make smoothies for breakfast. And we are staying away from this aisle, any pre-made of the desserts, treats, bread products, because we're gonna save money and make our own at home. The one exception being one loaf of this artisanal style bread. My daughter loves this for her peanut butter and jellies at school. And I just haven't been able to recreate a soft white sandwich bread yet. I'm working on it, but in the meantime, I need stuff for my kids lunch. But at least here, we're spending at least a dollar less than what I'd be spending at any other grocery store. And even though it's starting to warm up where I am, hence the tank top, it's like sunny and 65 degrees today, it's beautiful. Um, I still am doing some crock pot or soup type dishes. These kinds of dishes really help last. You can feed multiple meals to a bigger family. So we have a delicious jalapeno popper soup. Check the description box down below for links to any recipes I talk about today and what I share in the meal plan. These are not on the list, but how beautiful are these heirloom tomatoes? I can totally use this on some of my homemade sourdough focaccia bread and make a fun little snack or meal for the fam. These are gorgeous, love heirloom tomatoes. Often I will place an order for pickup, but coming in store gives you the ability to be flexible. So normally we'd go for these yellow corn tortilla chips, but at $3.49 a bag versus the ones on sale, we're gonna try something new this time. My husband loves peanut butter filled pretzels. These are already at $5.39 for the size bag. I don't feel like it's that great of a deal this week. I know he also loves the pretzel slims and these are a much better deal and with these you can easily just do dip instead of having the peanut butter inside dip them in some real peanut butter so the Super Bowl is coming up this weekend we're still gonna have some fun snacks in the house even though we're eating healthy so of course to go with my tortilla chips I'd probably buy a salsa however a fresh salsa in store is coming in at 315 I already bought the jalapenos for one of the soups I'm making this week I have onion and garlic at home so if I pick up some tomatoes I can make my own that's Probably not as great as this one is looking right now and a lot cheaper and I can still have that yummy chips and salsa as a snack during the game. These are new for me. Normally I like to get the La Banderita low carb tortillas at other grocery stores. I didn't realize that Aldi had come out with their version. These are ringing in at two points on the WW plan and they come in at only $2.99 which low carb tortillas definitely have gone way up in price so let's try them out. A trick we've been doing lately to mix up our drinks is just buying plain sparkling water. This one is unsweetened, nothing but carbonated water and we mix in some of the drink enhancer drops so to give them a little flavor a little bubble we're not drinking soda so it's good for our health and for our budget because these come in at 79 cents a bottle and we can usually get um, three to four drinks out of each one of these one liter bottles something else I'd usually always buy but I actually have some cornmeal um, at home because I've been making English muffins sourdough English muffins and I have a ton of it and nothing else to use it for. So we're gonna make our own cornbread this week too. Really great to see we can still get 2% milk for under two bucks a gallon at Aldi. 
So we actually buy most of our meat in bulk at Costco like once a month, but some of the recipes I have coming up, I don't have what I need in the freezer. So I did pick up one pound of ground beef. Normally I'm someone who picks up one of the bigger packs, but this is one of the way I'm saving money this week. I'm only buying what I need for the recipe. Still not thrilled at the price on eggs, but this is cheaper than the $6 they wanted at Walmart for a dozen this week. I grabbed my whole list, time to go check out, find out what the damage is. When we get home, I'll share with you guys the whole haul, including the price for every item I bought today. Well, that took longer than I thought it would, which doesn't it always. I always feel like any day I do meal planning and grocery shopping all in one day, it takes up like my entire day. So we're home, Josh and I got the girls fed and we just did bedtime. I have all the groceries spread out on the counter and I'm gonna share with you everything I picked up at Aldi, our grand total of what I spent on groceries for the next two weeks and my meal plan. Starting off in our green corner, just a reminder, I'm gonna list all the WW points as well as prices down here in the bottom bar. Any fresh, canned, or frozen fruits and veggies are going to be zero points unless otherwise noted down here as well. I have some romaine lettuce to do with salads and as sandwich toppers, some spinach that I picked up. This we're gonna use for smoothies with some frozen fruit I already have on hand in the freezer. Celery for snacking on with either peanut butter or hummus, both of which I already have on hand, as well as to add a crunch in a pasta salad I'm gonna be meal prepping for lunches this week. I have a couple different meals that are gonna use green bell pepper over the next week's meal plan. I also have a couple recipes we're gonna use some jalapenos for, including some homemade fresh salsa for the Super Bowl and a jalapeno popper crock pot soup, which I'm so excited for. It's so, so yummy and warm and hearty and it makes a nice big pot of soup. So we'll be able to have that for dinner as well as a few lunches during the week. I grabbed a big bunch of cilantro. We can use that in our salsa. Things like cilantro, jalapeno, other spices and herbs all are zero points and give a lot of flavor to your meals. You wanna mix up those flavor profiles so you don't get bored of what you're eating. I also grabbed some sugar snap peas. We love these as a good crunchy veggie to snack on. These are also great in veggie wraps. I love doing those instead of sandwiches sometimes when I don't have um, lunch meat or much protein on hand. Fill up a wrap with hummus and lots of crunchy fresh veggies, some olive oil, red wine vinegar, salt and pepper or other spices. It's so tasty and satisfying even though it doesn't have any meat in it. Really excited about these heirloom tomatoes. I'm gonna use those in a baked focaccia. That'll be great on its own or maybe we'll serve it on the side with one of our homemade soups this week. A medley of baby potatoes. There's both red and yellow potatoes in here and I'm gonna cook these up as a side dish to one of our dinners. Some baby bella mushrooms. I'll cut these up and eat them raw on salad or saute them up either in a pan or even in the air fryer and then pop them onto one of those veggie wraps. Mushrooms are a great substitute for protein in your dishes so they add that like meaty texture while being full of vegetables. For fruit, we still have a ton of green grapes in the house from our last Costco run. So we have those to finish up this week. We have two packages of strawberries as well as a large bag of pink lady apples. I also have some fruit and veggie pouches on hand from Costco. So it's been a while, but some of the things we stocked up on, like kid snacks, like goldfish, granola bars, fruit and veggie applesauce pouches, I still have a ton of that stuff as well as kids yogurt. So thanks for like my daughter's lunches. So we were pretty set on that stuff. So I'm glad I checked my pantry, fridge and freezer before going to the store because then I didn't overbuy on that kind of stuff because I still had some left over. All the wraps. So I have plain tortillas for my daughter Lila so we can do tacos one night. I have the carb counter tortillas that I'm gonna try out. I like to use these either for tacos. I have enchiladas coming up on the meal plan this week so I'll use these for that as well. Or sometimes I'll use these for one of my veggie wraps if I'm really watching my points to keep it low point. Otherwise, if I'm doing a veggie wrap, we also love these spinach herb wraps. These are a little heartier in points. But when I do a veggie wrap, it's so low point. It's like one or two points for the hummus, one or two points if I use cheese. Otherwise, all the veggies I fill in it are zero points. So if the wrap comes in around seven points, my breakfast and dinners are always something I can easily count on to be lower in point. Lunches tend to be where I spend more points usually. Um, easy sandwich bread, mostly for my daughter's peanut butter and jellies, or for my baby, Nora, who's nine months old. She loves to do a lot of like toasts. So either hummus on toast or smashed avocado on toast. That's a really quick and easy breakfast for her in the mornings when I'm trying to get my other daughter 
out the door to school. I picked up some elbow macaroni. This is a two pound box. So that's gonna be two different meals for us. Half of the box I'm gonna use to make a tuna noodle pasta salad as meal prep for lunches. And then the other half of the box, I think I'm going to use to throw together some homemade mac and cheese one day. We have some oven ready lasagna noodles. My husband makes a wonderful lasagna. His filling mixes together ricotta and cottage cheese to add tons of moisture and flavor. So that's a Josh meal. Dad's in charge of dinner that night, but it's on the meal plan. A couple little snacks to have in the house. We have those pretzel slims as well as some blue corn tortilla chips. I grabbed four liters of the sparkling water. I didn't see any at Aldi, but these are the kinds of, oh, focus. These are the flavor enhancer drops I'm talking about. Tons of different brands make these. Crystal Light makes them. Usually there's a store brand. This one is raspberry lemonade flavor. It's zero points and you just squirt a little into either plain water or into sparkling water. So they come in all different flavors. There's like cherry limeade, orange, raspberry lemonade, regular lemonade, you can get teas, all sorts of options and zero points to help mix it up and keep your water going, but also have something flavored once in a while. All the canned things, I have some sweet corn because we're gonna be doing some turkey chili this week. I have this can of green chilies, which are gonna go into our enchiladas. Some tuna, I figure one or two of these cans we'll use just to make like tuna salad with. We can either put them in a wrap or on lettuce and do a little salad or on bread and do a sandwich. But then the other two cans I'm gonna actually put into that tuna noodle pasta salad that I'm meal prepping for lunch. A couple cans of black beans. Um, these are also going to be a little side dish, some black beans, corn, and tomatoes when I do the enchiladas. And then the other can I'm gonna be putting into our turkey chili. I have some diced tomatoes for the turkey chili. And then just a couple cans of canned vegetables. These are just sliced carrots and these are French style green beans. Um, these are just a quick vegetable option for my little one, Nora. They're nice and soft. I don't have to boil down veggies till they're super soft. I can just serve her a little bit of these if we're in a pinch and need a quick meal for her. And we also needed a restock on unsweetened applesauce. Both the girls will eat this as a side with dinner, but I also use this to bake with instead of any sort of oil. So if your recipe calls for vegetable oil or canola oil or anything like that, you can just use equal parts of unsweetened applesauce. So a quarter cup of oil, cut that out and do a quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce. You don't taste apple at all, it just substitutes the oil in your baking recipe. All right, and finally, my refrigerated freezer items I just had to pull back out. I grabbed one pound of ground beef. This is going to go into the lasagna, some ground turkey for our turkey chili, and then I did grab a roll of pork sausage. I'm gonna try making little sausage rolls. Those are a great like on-the-go breakfast, but yeah, we're gonna try something like that out. I got a gallon of 2% milk, some ricotta cheese made with part skim milk. This is gonna be for the lasagna. A couple bars of this Third Less Fat Neufchatel cheese. I'm gonna be making some homemade bagels for the weekend for breakfasts. And also one of these is going to be used in the jalapeno popper soup in the crock pot. I got a brick of low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese. That's both gonna be for the lasagna. And also, um, if we do some little homemade pizza bombs, one Friday night we'll do something with pizza. I'll make my own dough using self-rising flour and plain nonfat Greek yogurt to make a two ingredient dough. I've shared that recipe a bunch before. And then I grabbed a dozen eggs. Normally, I would keep at least 18 to two dozen eggs on hand, especially for a two week haul. Eggs are so expensive right now. I don't wanna have them just hanging around if I don't have a purpose for them. So I know I needed some for some of the recipes and baking I'm going to do. And my baking supplies are pretty well stocked. Like flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, chocolate chips, that kind of stuff I usually always have on hand. So I have something I can make from my pantry stock to make a little dessert, but I do usually need eggs for it. So I have some eggs and then we'll still have some eggs if we wanna do like scrambled eggs one morning. The girls love scrambled eggs and avocado and toast is a breakfast. So I have some of those, but if there's one area I could see me needing to run to the store for more of something, I think it would definitely be eggs or cheese. Right now we're good on cheddar cheese. That's why I only picked up a brick of the mozzarella for our recipes, but we still have some cheddar from our last Costco haul. I buy the big brick and then we just shred it ourselves. So hopefully that can make it through. That's our goal is to try and make what I bought today and what we have in the fridge, freezer and pantry work for the next 10 days to two weeks. And finally, just a couple bags of frozen broccoli. So my grand total today at Aldi came out to $101.49 
That's way under budget from my $150 budget I initially gave myself. But for a lot of the things I have planned, because I started looking through my freezer and fridge and pantry and built my meal plan from there, I'm really getting through some of the stuff I've had back stocked for a while that I probably need to rotate through in my house anyway. So we still had some chicken breasts in our freezer as well as two portions of salmon. Again, we like to do more of a bulk buy on our meat at the beginning of the month. So at Costco, we'll buy one of the big packs of chicken breasts or one of the big slabs of salmon. That's what we did last time and they've lasted all the way till now and it's like, a month and a half since we bought those. So doing something like a big stock up on meat once every month or every other month has helped really lessen my weekly food budget. And even though I'm giving a little bit more to bulk buying those at the beginning, I do think it helps me save money in the long run when I'm not running out every week and buying a lot more meat every single week. And in addition to meat, I have some things that are just staples in my pantry that I have all the time and I just notice if I'm running low on it, it gets added to that week for the list. So it's just kind of always rolling something I know I have in my pantry. So I always have baking supplies, both for bread and for making some little healthy desserts. I always have rolled oats so we can always do oatmeal for breakfast in a pinch. Tons of spices, rice, pasta, those kinds of things I always have in my pantry, so I didn't have to account for them in today's budget. However, I think even if I did need to account for them based on the recipes and meals I'm doing, $150 could have been doable if I shopped at Aldi. So here's a quick peek at my entire meal plan for the next like 10 days. To be honest, like this two weeks, we just got back into town, so I didn't really need to plan for the first two days of this week, but based on what I planned, it would have fully covered two weeks of groceries. So here's a look at what I plan for the next two weeks. It is my goal not to go back to the grocery store unless I need baby supplies. Like I know I need to go get some more formula for Nora and we're gonna need diapers or wipes coming up soon, but I kind of feel like I keep baby as a separate budget. But if I'm well planned, I have my meal plan ready to go, I stick to my plan, I shouldn't be buying more groceries over the next two weeks, which would be awesome. Okay guys, so here is my meal plan for the next two weeks. Like I mentioned, Monday and Tuesday, we were getting back into town after visiting family. So when I got home from the grocery store, I put together the tuna noodle pasta salad, mix it together, let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours, and it makes a delicious pasta salad that's easy to make for dinner. And then now we'll have the leftovers for some lunch prep the rest of the week. Thursday, Josh is in charge of dinner. He's making lasagna and we'll probably do a nice big green salad with it. I always reserve at least one night a week for leftover night. And since I know the lasagna will make plenty for more than one meal, we're gonna have leftover night on Friday. Saturday, we'll do a fun dinner for the kids, something kind of out of the freezer, like maybe chicken nuggets and sweet potatoes with some fruit on the side. We'll get them to bed and then I'll make salmon in the air fryer for Josh and I, along with some Parmesan crusted baby potatoes and a side vegetable. I have a bunch of different frozen veggies in the freezer right now. I have green beans. I have the vegetable melange mix from Costco, which is like Brussels sprouts and mushrooms and bell peppers. So we'll pull one of those for a vegetable side that night. Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. So I know we'll have our chips and salsa kind of snacks. And then also great for the game, but also a good meal to do on Sunday because it's a nice large batch and we'll have leftovers for the following week's meal prep for lunches is a great big batch of rainbow turkey chili. I've shared that one on my channel before. Make sure you check out the description box below for any links to videos with recipes. On to week two, Monday, we're going out to eat for my daughter Lila's fifth birthday. And Tuesday, even though it's Valentine's, we're gonna be staying in since we're going out the night before and you know, weekday with the kids. But I'll make it fun. We're gonna do quesadillas and that corn and black bean salad I mentioned. Maybe we'll get fancy and I'll cut out some heart shapes with the quesadillas make it fun and special, even though we're staying in for the night. By Wednesday, I figure another large batch dinner will help make lunches for the rest of the week. So we're gonna do some crock pot jalapeno popper soup. This one is so tasty. It's creamy, a little bit spicy. I'll definitely put the link to the recipe down below. This one is not necessarily a Weight Watchers or healthy recipe, but there are easy swaps you can do to lighten it up a bit, like using light cream cheese or some plain non-fat Greek yogurt instead of the heavy cream and a lower fat cheese. So that's what I do. I sometimes use regular recipes and I just swap out some of the ingredients for healthier alternatives. Thursday, we'll be doing leftover night or sometimes this, if we don't necessarily have leftovers we want, like if we wanna use the crock pot soup 
more for lunches instead of also doing it again for dinner. Leftover night could also just be like easy from the freezer fridge or pantry. So maybe a quick pasta night or frozen chicken nuggets or, you know, we could use the chicken nuggets on wraps or salads. Something simple that I can throw together in like under 30 minutes just from some of the staples that I always have on hand. Friday, we're going to be doing two ingredient dough pizza bombs. Two ingredient dough is simply self-rising flour and plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Mix up those two ingredients in equal parts. You'll get a nice light dough. We portion them out, stuff them with a little bit of heart skim mozzarella shredded cheese. You could also add turkey pepperoni if you want. You pinch together the dough, roll them up. I like to season the outside with a little bit of avocado oil spray and some Italian seasoning, and then you air fry them. And then you can dip them into marinara. We do a nice big salad on the side, or sometimes we'll do raw veggies and dip. That one's fun, and my daughter Lila loves making them with me, so it's a fun activity in the kitchen as well to do together. Saturday, my in-laws are getting into town and going to be visiting us, so I wanted a meal big enough for the family, but also we'll probably eat in that night because we don't know exactly what time they'll get into town since they're driving. So my idea is we'll make a nice big pan of white chicken enchiladas. This is by far one of the most popular recipes I've ever shared here on the channel. I'll definitely link it below. It's one of our go-to staples, especially when we began WW. It's low point, it's tasty. And then Sunday, we're going to be barbecuing, hopefully, if the weather is nice. My husband is a hobby barbecuist and loves to use his smoker in the backyard. And since his dad and mom will be in town, I think he and his dad are going to just barbecue something up for that night. So that they may run out to the store for and pick up a special cut of meat, but I wasn't sure what they wanted yet. So I haven't picked that up yet. So there you go. That is on the plan for our next two weeks. Thank you guys so much for coming shopping with me today at Aldi. I enjoyed sharing my two week meal plan with you guys. I can't believe we are going to get two weeks worth of food for my family of four for only $100 this time around. I'm slowly working myself up to go back to what I used to, which was meal planning for the entire month, doing one big grocery haul at the beginning of the month and then a small haul in the middle of the month. So we're working our way back towards that goal. It was one of my goals for 2023, both to help continue to eat healthy and be more planful about our meals as well as save a little money. So thanks for joining me on this journey today. Don't forget to check out the description bar down below for some links to recipes that I'm going to be doing. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you haven't yet so you can join our family and follow us on our healthy eating on a budget journey. And until next time, bye.